Hi everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick today that uh, hopefully will improve the quality of my welding. You know, of course, when you're welding on the bench, you have the uh, luxury of good illumination, hopefully, and uh, where you can see where you're welding. But when you're um, in the field or, you know, working under a car or inside an interior, doing sheet metal work or whatever, um, a lot of times the visibility is not that good. And, uh, you know, a lot of times the welding is not a straight weld. It may be going all over the place. And you have to not only look at your weld puddle, but you have to look at where you're going and, uh, and so forth. And you may have low contrast uh, materials where the, you have a good tight fit up. And you may not even uh, see where you're supposed to be welding until you're done. And then you say, oh, my gosh, what did I do? Um, in particular, when you're TIG welding, you know, especially at low amperages, uh, you know, where you would normally be getting illumination from the, the arc, low amperage, of course, you have less illumination. So I'm going to make something uh, to fit on my welding helmets. I've got a couple of, i got a real cheap one here, like Harbor Freight or something, and then a good, a nice Miller Elite, uh, something I could quickly uh, attach to my helmet and give me a focused uh, LED beam. Uh, this is going to be a cheap modification, too. It's less than $15 and it will transfer from one helmet to another. You can take it off completely in a matter of seconds. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. This is a quantum LED headlamp that I picked up from Harbor Freight for $9.99 on sale. Uh, 310 lumens, and uh, it's got a um, two settings, high and low, and also you could focus the beam, a narrow beam or wide angle. This is the headlamp. It's got elastic straps on it and a separate battery pack in the back with a, a uh, elastic uh, cord, power cord. And the lamp itself hinges and it zooms in and out as well. Here's a, that's a, that's a wide angle and you could zoom it down for a very intense uh, light. So I'm gonna attach this to my helmet. Okay, I cut the straps off and that leaves us with the battery pack, the uh, curly cord, a couple of clips that we could probably clip onto the uh, helmet body itself, and the head unit, which is, um, it pivots so we could aim it. And uh, I'm gonna attach it to my uh, Miller Elite helmet first. Here's a finished modification. I used Velcro to attach the um, head unit and the battery pack to the helmet. And I used one of the clips that came on the headlamp uh, on the back up here to hold the cord up out of the way. But it goes on and off easily. And, uh, you know, it adjusts, has a good range of motion. Uh, this battery pack holds three AAA batteries. It lasts quite a long time. The uh, light has a little switch right up here and it's got uh, three position. You only really need the first one for the high power. And uh, it also, uh, zooms in and out on the focal length so you could have an intense beam if you like or a wide angle. Um, anyhow, well, let me show you from the uh, helmet view. All right, I was trying to figure out how to give you a shot through the lens. I got my helmet um, mounted on the, uh, clamped onto my tripod and a piece of material below here. And uh, right now the headlamp is off. I'll put this inside. All right, this is with no light, and now I'm going to turn on the high beam. That's a that's a medium angle lens there. All right, everybody, I think that worked out pretty good. Uh, it gives you illumination on your weld line or your joint, and uh, you can see where you're going and what you're doing. Um, I also use those, uh, like when I'm used, doing auto body paint, uh, gives you light right where you need it. Um, if you like these kind of videos, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got other uh, tool tips and hacks and uh, whatnot, as well as working on my old uh, 1950 Ford truck. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Hope this helps.